We learned all about storybook quilting with Lynn Reinhardt, and now we're going to learn about how to add fonts to our quilts. Plus, Lynn is going to show us a storybook quilt that she made, including a border that's continuous. It's like tossed elements that she will show us how we can repeat it all the way around the quilt and quilt it without having to stop. It's time for more coloring, and this time, fonts. I know, I love fonts on quilts, and we have to put Merry Christmas on our quilt. Absolutely. So, the very first thing you're gonna do, is just like we did in the last for the trees and the ornaments, is we are going to get out our pattern and trace the applique designs. So we're gonna trace the applique font, and we're gonna put it on our paper. Mm -hmm. Because our very first task is to what? Get out our crayon. So we just happen to have some here. I know, aren't they great? They're beautiful. So we're gonna do a dark, a medium, and a light again. And this time I wanted to challenge you a little bit because I thought, you know, with a big long words like Merry Christmas, there could be a lot of different ways to approach the font. Well, it's so, just like coloring, exactly. the same thing. Yeah. Exactly, so I thought, well, what if I color it this way, with kind of a diagonal, with my dark, my medium, and a light. And do I like that look? And the reason we're coloring the paper, which is very important, is because you want to get the color set and how you want to quilt it. You never want to lay down as much thread as we're going to lay down on this quilt and ever have to take that out. It's, like, not, an, no, it's not an eraser when no, it's red. It doesn't no, work that way. No, there is no reverse sewing in this. <laughs> no reverse sewing. Okay, so I'm going to do it with a diagonal, and then I thought, well, I don't know if I like that, and then I thought I'd do a straight line. That was kind of interesting to me. And then I went crazy and did every letter. Oh, wow. It was a little much. Yeah, you probably couldn't read it once it was done. Yeah, so too. I thought, well, that's not working for me. And this is the reason why I want to use my crayons. Mm -hmm. So I decided to go with the first one, and I did the diagonal. And you can see it kind of has the diagonal oh, yes, look on yes. Merry Christmas, yep. right? So I want to show you how to do that and how to do the color book sketching on the font itself. 